Okay. This problem is for Jessica, and she wants Jessica, my student, and uh, she wants to know what is the nth derivative of y equal one over a x plus b. Okay. Nth derivative. Let's start with the first derivative to reach the nth derivative. Means four n equals one. And this is important. The first derivative is equal. Okay, this is u over v, so it's u prime v minus v prime u over v over v squared. Derivative of one is zero times a x plus b is zero minus derivative of a x plus b is a times one, it's a over a x plus b. Four n equals 2 implies that what is the second derivative n equal 2 means we are finding the second derivative which is the derivative of the derivative same <clears throat> u over v so derivative of u is 0 times this is over v squared derivative of u is 0 times this is 0 minus minus derivative of v times u times u means it's plus a and what is the derivative of this number this uh, v down it's 2 multiplied with a x plus b to the power 1 and the derivative of a x plus b is a over the v which is a x plus b square square so it's power four then it will be equal to two a times a is a square times a x plus b over a x plus b cancel so it will be a x plus b to the power three four and equals Three. The third derivative. One, two, three. Same. It's derivative of the second derivative. U prime v is zero because u prime is zero. Minus v prime u. This means minus. This is u. And v prime is three multiplied with a x plus b to the power two and multiplied with also a over a x plus b to the power 6 square of this is 6 so the answer will be minus 2 times 3 is 6 a square times a is a cube and uh, a x plus b square over a x plus b power 6 is a x plus b to the power 4 we can keep going power uh, fourth derivative, fifth derivative, etc. But it is enough. Those are really enough to discover what do we mean by nth root of this y. So, what is the nth root? Not the nth root. I, I keep saying nth root. It's not nth root. It's n nth derivative. Nth derivative of this function here equals. Let's see. <clears throat> When n equal 1, it was negative. When n equal 2, it was positive. When n equal 3, it's negative again. So if n is odd, if we continue for n equal 4, it will be again positive, then negative. So if n is odd, this means it is negative. If n is even, this means it is positive. And that reminds us with what? That reminds us with minus 1 okay depends on n so it's to the power n why because if n is odd first third fifth it will be minus 1 power 1 or minus 1 power 3 or minus 1 power 5 depends on the derivative first derivative so power 1 so it's minus second derivative so it's power 2 it's plus third derivative it's power 3 it's minus again 
etc. So it's minus one power ten. So it depends on that, the sign. Let's start. Let's see. Uh, okay, here we have a. Here we have a. Here we have a. This means also we have times or or let let us uh, do the number first. One, two, six. How we got this, these numbers? Okay, how we got these numbers? When it is first derivative means n equal one, it's one. When n equal two, it's two. When n equal three, uh -huh, it's six. So it is logically it is one. It is n factorial. Depends on n also n factorial because first derivative n equal one one factorial is one second derivative n equal to two factorial is two times one which is two third derivative it's third derivative is n equal three so three factorial three factorial is equal to what three factorial is equal to three times two times one so the answer is six so that's true so it's n factorial now we are going to solve the problem of a a power 1, a power 2, a power 3. So, if we have n equal 1, it's a power 1. n equal 2, it is a power 2. n equal 3, it is a power 3. So, the answer is a to the power n over ax plus b in all of them. So, it's ax plus b. And how we can see that when we are working with first derivative n equal 1, this is 2. The power is 2. When n equal 2, the power is 3. When n equal 3, the power is 4. So that's why it will be to the power n and more than by 1. First derivative, 1 plus 1, 2. Second derivative, 2 plus 1, 3. Third derivative, 3 plus 1, 4. So this means we can say it is minus 1 power n times a power n. It's minus a, 1a to the power n times n factorial over ax plus b to the power n plus 1. Now, let's try to do it. Let's try to, to, to see the fourth, the fourth, uh, uh, the fourth, uh, what? Not the fourth. The fourth, yes, but the fourth derivative means for n equal 4. 4 n equal 4 okay <clears throat> if we do if we do substitute this directly for y fourth derivative it will be what minus a to the power n means to the power 4 times n factorial means times 4 factorial over ax <clears throat> plus b to the power what n is 4 so it's 4 plus 1 it's to the power 5. So, look at that. Minus will be plus again. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 20. 4, a to the power 4, and over ax plus b to the power 5. And I will keep for you, I will keep, uh, 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 that, that I will keep for you an exercise, Jessica, to try to do the derivative of this, not using what I got here, try to do the derivative of this, which is u prime d minus d prime u over v square, and simplify it, you are going to get this answer. Try it. That's it. Bye.